wee wee bang bosh doosh punk and this morning we have a bit of bathroom maintenance that's required the strings broken on the uh, the pull so I'll need to go and get a new a new pull. I think you can just unscrew that and you can put a new one in, can't you? So that's today's task. Right, folks, just before we go to work, we are going to do the result of the selfie stick giveaway. Now, we only had five answers there this week, so you've all got a good chance. We have number one, Jeff Christie. Number two, Louise Sturton. Number three, System Skynet. I hope you like blue system sky knit. Number four is Gothic G Man, and number five is James Harrington. Now, I think you all live in Dundee, guys. So, here's the random number generator. Here it is. Drum roll, please. Here it is, numbers one to five. We're going to generate. Can you see the numbers? Here we go, folks. We're going to generate it right now. And the number is. What number is that? I can't see. It's number one. The winner is number one. It's Jeff Christie. He is the winner. So well done to you, Jeff Christie. Now then, you always comment on my videos. So well done to you, sir. Fantastic achievement. Let's just PM me your address. I think you actually don't live too far away. So I'll probably just pop it around. Just stick it through the letterbox. It'll fit through there. Look at that, nice and thin. Okay, well done. No expense spared here at Jack Lives. <coughs> Thank you very much. Right, now then, we've had a rather odd day today. It's a bit um, strange weather-wise. We had the Northern Lights last night. I did try and get some photos, but it's just impossible. And then we had uh, a very sunny, sort of orange, orangey morning. Um, I managed to get a couple of little photographs of that, but you just don't get the, 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 the essence of what it's really like when you, when you get out there and have a look at these, these lights. Anyway, I have to go to work now, folks. Today is Thursday. The weekend is approaching. Now, folks, over the last couple of weeks, I've been having a very sore right knee. The old chap's been giving me a lot of jip, a lot of bother. So I think I'm gonna to have to go to the doctors to see what's going on. I thought it would go away, but it just got worse and worse. It seemed to be triggered off by um, that big long walk I did in Edinburgh. Uh, ever since then, it's, it's got a lot more painful. Um, it was sore before that, but this just seemed to really kick it up a gear and, and make it worse. So I think it's uh, a trip to the doctor is required about this knee, folks. It's just so annoying. Uh, first thing in the morning, it's just a lie down my back as well. Oh, it's pathetic, it really is. It's, it's awful, but hey, I'll get on with all that. Look at this stick. This, I think this was my grandfather's stick. It's got a lovely sort of knotted whirl, sort of Celtic kind of thing on it there. It's very, very sturdy. Really good stick. Actually, really good for defending yourself and, you know, doof, wee, wee, bang, bosh, doosh, poke. Really good, man. Yeah, nice sturdy implement this is. So if I have to use a stick, this is the one I will be using. It might have to shorten it a little bit, might just have to sort off because it seems to be a little bit on the large side, but uh, what, a, what a great, great stick it is. It's got a crack in the, the handle there. It's just, it just feels naturally really, really, really nice to hold. It's a good shape, it's been varnished by a, a natural piece of wood and uh, been well used. Fair for that, I'd rather stop on that. And, uh, but, yeah, what a, what a good stick. I really, really do like this. It's been in the house for, for, uh, for years and years. I, really don't, I think it is my grandfather's. Um, wonderful. I just love that little bit of carving there. It's much better than these, uh, these metal sticks you see people walking about. Tick, 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 tick. You know, why don't people get their own personalised sort of stick? You know, if I had to use a stick, then I would want something that, that says a lot about me, a bit of, um, a bit of, uh, you know, charisma about, about a stick, not just the one orthopedic. Okay, people, I suppose, can't maybe afford them, but fair enough. If you do want an orthopedic, but you don't want the arm or anything, you know, I just look very robotic and, and uh, unfriendly, you know, I would rather have a nice wooden stick. Right, what's I going on about again? Um, oh, the knee, yeah, right. The right knee, very sore knee, so I think we're going to have to go to the doctor about that. Anyway, off we go to work. Thank you for listening. Right, folks, we're going into Wix. Yes, my favourite shop, yeah. I'm going to get one of those cord pulls and get that fixed. Be my bathroom maintenance job. Got to fix the toilet seat as well, actually. Right, folks. Well, I managed to get one. I got the the pull cord. There it is. One pound thirty-two, basically for a piece of thin cord. There we go. Though. Very nice lady there. I went up to her and said, "Excuse me, have you got a bathroom cord thing?" Dink, and uh, she took me straight to it. Good service, Wix. Well done. Thank you.
Yellow 21. Blue 52. Oh my lord. Yellow That's an improvement actually, Amanda. <laughs> You're much, much better now. Yellow 35. <laughs> my punch is actually quite windy down here, so this will be a good test for the, uh, the microphone. Now we're coming down through Mali to see if the spider is still there. See if mummy spider is still hanging about. Now what wall was it on again? Wasn't that one? Yeah, I couldn't really find out what the spider was called. I assume it's quite a quite a common thing for this spider to be sitting there with its ball and its uh, its nest sort of thing. I think it's the next one. Here we go. Now I'm not going to bore you by showing it. Oh, where is it? Has it gone? Seems to have disappeared. Surely it was not this far, was it? Goodness me, it appears to have gone. <coughs> oh no, there it is. Oh. However, the spider has gone. Dun dun dun. Where could it be? <coughs> Let's have a look. So just natural curiosity just just made me poke up and uh, poke up just to open up that ball. I couldn't help myself folks, so what appears to me there's just some sort of orangey, I think they are just little eggs, spider eggs, little sacks, but uh, I, I didn't really want to open them, but just had to see what was in, as I said, just natural curiosity. The spider's gone, <coughs> mummy spider's gone, I think she's left her eggs behind. Unless perhaps maybe a bird swooped down and picked the spider off because the, uh, the natural enemy of the spider is the bird. So I reckon it's been picked up and, and taken away. Right, well we'll keep an eye out to see if there's any more of these um, interesting sort of little spidery things popping up. But I reckon that's all it was, a big sack of eggs. Now I found a nice cluster. Rooms here, man. Look at that. Lovely. Now, I almost missed these shrooms. Look at the fantastic camouflage that they have. The natural colouring in them just makes them look like a bunch of leaves. So, I almost missed it. I mean, you, you wouldn't even notice that, would you, if you were just walking past quickly? So, there it is. A, a big cluster of. Uh, of mushrooms here, fantastic. Now, I've never seen a cluster like that before, so you try and find out what they are. I'm very good for saying I'm going to name them, but I never do, so this time I will find out what these are called. Brilliant, excellent discovery. Right, folks, it is indeed DIY time, bathroom and maintenance here. I have this rather nifty multi screwdriver tool here that I got from uh, a chap at the bingo. So we're going to be using this, we're going for the, the medium sized blade. Now should I have, oh, my should I have the lecky turned off for this? I don't know. 